Fire is fire, water is water, air is air, and the rest? It's the dirt that grows our plants, the stones that we skip across the lakes, the fibers that make up our clothes. <laughs> it's the planet we live on, the third rock from the sun, and it's today's classical element on Element A Day in May. It is Earth. Let's start with the uh, chemical symbol for Earth. Like the other main classical elemental symbols, the symbol was derived from a system of Hellenic or Greek symbols and is represented by an upside down triangle with a horizontal line through it. Symbology, it's hugely prevalent in alchemy and this art incorporated into the practice gives it this really neat magical feeling. And don't get me wrong, there is a ton of beauty in modern science, but the alchemy symbols when compared to the symbols for our modern periodic table of the elements, well, they are much cooler. In the laboratory, uh, many important compounds were associated with earth, such as the compound we now know as salt. All of the metals came from Earth. In fact, every single sub-element used in alchemy that isn't one of the four classical elements were known to be derived from Earth. Iron, mercury, silver, gold, they are all found in our dirt. Okay, now flash forward many years later and modern science actually gets more beautiful because now we know all of our elements, even the ones not found naturally occurring on our planet, come from the stars and the universe, but Earth is still pretty great. Thank you everyone for watching. Alchemy Week continues tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Element a day in May.